Hey guys, coming to you again. We were down in the field uh, tilling, finally getting around to doing some tilling with the with our new little Jimmy Dean tractor, 1025R. And my wife came down. This is our little buggy. Uh, we got a complete uh, up build and or a upgrade, complete rebuild on uh, on our channel, so you can look at it. But I replaced everything in this upgraded everything from the uh, excuse me from the batteries to the uh, uh, I've got eight t105 batteries uh, made it a 48 volt system 600 all tracks controller 600 amp uh, all tracks controller heavy duty forward and reverse switch uh, 400 amp uh, alternator upgraded diodes all that stuff everything's upgraded but still having that issue um, just intermittent just stops just no power just won't do anything won't go uh, the only thing left is uh, these two parts right here um, so this is the little the micro switch we'll be replacing it I've heard I looked up a lot of people said this could be the issue uh, but uh, while I'm in it I'm gonna go ahead and, and do the uh, uh, the throttle excel whatever that is I can't remember what they call this thing the inductive throttle control um, just tells how much pedal you're given so it knows how much signal I guess to know to tell the controller what to do to the motor so this is the only two parts that's left to my knowledge um, and everything in this car is going to be completely upgraded uh, so we're going to do that that's what we're going to do and so uh, just stand by and we'll start getting this torn out and get it torn out and we'll show you what we're replacing and how we're replacing it and then we'll get it back together and hopefully that'll work. Feel you walking all alone but he is there no doubt when the storm around you rages and you're tossed to and fro when you're faced with life's decisions not sure which way to go stand still Kind of reach the end, he'll break away for you. Stand still and let so, God lose. Like that. When the controller surrounds you, and the walls are closing in, in. So engages and that's okay. I get you, I see how it works now. So maybe you can see you this plunger is connected to your been. throttle pedal. If you can see this, I hope you can see that. Um, so when you match the throttle pedal, you can see it going in. This is your throttle, um, whatever they call it, throttle, not the throttle position sensor, but it's close. The throttle, uh, the inductive throttle response or something like that. So the more this shaft, your throttle shaft goes in, you can see this little, uh, micro switch. You can hit it, click. As soon as you mash it down, this engages the power and this reads how much this is in it. So the more you push it, the deeper it goes all the way in. And of course, that's, a, that's what tells it it's, it's at full throttle. So um, fairly straightforward design. So I will, looks like a 716, no, it's not that big. Maybe a, I don't know, we'll see what it looks like. But we will get this loose and I'll take everything out and then we'll, we'll get back into it a little bit more. Okay, and, guys, uh, show you we'll that. try this. You see me just, we just tidied up everything here. Before I, before I get in a big way and do everything back again, I'm wanting to uh, simply, simply check this out. And uh, we'll go from there. So we'll see what we got. So. Hopefully it'll move. So turn it on. Put it in reverse. Nothing. So after all that, that's not the issue. So 
So evidently it's in my brand new forward and reverse switch. It was over $100 and it was very aggravating to change. So I changed all these components to brand new now and that's still not the issue. So maybe we'll figure this out at some point. Don't look like it's gonna be today. Hey guys, at this point, um, obviously you've seen, I didn't have a video of me installing those new parts. Um, it was just so self-explanatory once you look at it, just there's four plugs you unplug and replug back up to the new parts. It was so simple, there was no sense in me doing that. I did record a eight minute and 51 second video of the entire process, but it is not worth posting. So just enjoy this little clip I threw up of me uh, climbing this uh, steep bank here. And uh, it, it, once again, pictures don't do it justice. It is really steep, but uh, you can see at one point it actually pulls the front tires completely up off the ground. Uh, so I do have in plans, I've got a, uh, a 2,500, no, sorry, 3,500 pound winch um, to go on the front of it along i have to build a bumper for it so hopefully with the additions of the winch and the bumper it will help keep the front end down so i just hope you enjoy this little clip